Good morning everyone, it's a beautiful sunny day today even though it's kind of near into the winter time. Uh, so today's video I wanted to make mainly on the winglets again but when you guys, when I posted the video on you know test fitting them on my car you guys, a lot of you guys started asking about if they would fit the pre facelift uh, models, the 2010 through 2013 models so today's video I'm gonna make test fitting them on this car and seeing if you guys can just bolt them on onto those cars or if you guys can bolt them on you know with making some sort of minor modifications and also today I'm gonna paint these I'm gonna send them down uh, paint them you know clear coat them and then install them on my car as well so hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned so test fitting these uh, so as you guys can see it is not the same I for some reason thought it was the same but my car does not have this kind of lip on the R design as uh, as this car does so putting it on I mean it does sort of kind of fits but you would have to trim this around here and as you guys can see here it doesn't quite yeah fit you might have to heat it up and try to kind of bend it more this way but I mean once once you start going here let me show you right here it does fit so this right here does fit except this corner right here you'd have to probably trim it straight like that and then uh, it should lay flat on this side but yeah on that one you're gonna have to cut those straight and then uh, try to mount it and let me see underneath how does it look yeah and underneath there's yeah you can't really mount that there's no space it has so much gap underneath that it, it won't fit I mean you can probably mount this one but those two you see there's like literally two inches of space in between the bumper and then the mounting points on the winglet itself so yeah I to personally I don't think they fit I would not try to fit them on these models because yeah it, you're gonna have a lot of headache seeing how fat this is you know you see how my bumper is fat on the bottom this seeing how this one is thin it got that sort of lip look actually looks really cool I don't think I would have put those on if my bumper looked like this but yeah it will I would not waste time your time trying to fit them you know on that car hey David can you come up here yeah. so fitting them on my car Okay, fit it and put it on my car in the same way. All right, see that? How flush that looks, you know, how that fits. You know, it all pretty much lines up perfectly. There's mounting points and everything just lines up perfectly. That's how it should fit. Yeah, I would not put, put it on the other car. All right, so in my backyard, I put a board down. I got myself some uh, 1500 grit, I mean, no, 1000 grit sandpaper so first things first you want to do in your when you're painting especially plastic trims you want to get a sandpaper and you want to sand it down nicely so when you paint them that the paint stays onto the plastic especially if it's not you know original uh, uh, plastic you want to sand it down nicely so you have a nice you know surface to paint on and it actually sticks so first things first we're going to sand it down and then we're going to lay paint onto the trim and then clear coat it As you can see I sent it down now I'm gonna get a towel and degreaser I'm gonna wipe it down nicely and then I'm gonna lay a layer of clear coat on the first layer and then I'm probably gonna have to wait let me see the instructions here um, painting blah, blah, blah. let's see here so you want to paint in where it's not dusty not windy so you don't get no you know garbage onto your uh, your paint surface where you're painting. Uh, allow more time at cooler temperatures dries in, to touch in 20 minutes. So after each clear coat, I mean after each coat, 
Uh, I lay paint, I'm gonna look and see pretty much about 20, 15 to 20 minutes between each coat. So I'm gonna lay each, one coat down and I'm probably gonna do like three or three or four coats, make it nice and thick. And then uh, thin coat so it doesn't, you know, drip all that. So I'm gonna wait 15, 20 minutes in between each coat and then uh, do four, three to four of them. And then I'll, after it dries, dries out, I'll lay a, a, you know, a layer of clear coat as well that I bought right here as well. I got the lacquer or whatever it's called because it's more flexible paint and clear coat compared to some of the other ones. Um, so this one I'm only painting, you know, additions to the bumper. I would not paint your car with these. These are just, you know, an addition. I don't care. It's probably going to get scratched up anyways when my wife drives it. Maybe I'll have an accident here and there. But uh, so, you know, I'm going to paint these with the lacquer. I guess I heard that these guys, you know, tend to be more flexible and doesn't crack as fast as the other ones so yeah we're gonna do that and uh hope you guys tag along so now that we got it degreased made it make sure it's nice and clean so now i'm gonna lay the first layer of uh paint on and see how it comes out laid down the first coat as you guys can see it's looking pretty good so now we're gonna give it about 15 minutes 20 minutes and then lay, lay another one on top I'll probably do like three or four we'll see I'll see it depending on how it will come out at the end I will see it later if I should lay down the fourth one or not and then after that after we lay down the fourth one the third one I'm gonna wait probably about an hour hour and a half and I'm gonna lay down about two, co two coats of the clear coat just to finish it up after first clear coat i'm going to sand it down and then clear coat it again to make it nice and smooth so we got the second layer on looking better and better after each coat so i'm gonna wait another 20 minutes and uh, probably do one more and that's it and then give it an hour before we put the clear coat on and then we'll put the clear coat on after that it started raining a little bit so I just put them right next to the house where it's no rain, where it's covered up. So we got four layers of paint on there. As you guys can see, it looks really nice. It's not dry yet, but it's gonna look much better. And then after it dries out, I'm gonna put one layer of clear coat on, probably, or yeah, one layer, and then wait until it dries, send it down with fine sandpaper and then put another layer. And it should be good. I think we give it enough time to dry. It's pretty dry. I mean, to the touch too. It's it's pretty dry. So now we're gonna lay one coat of clear coat. The first one. So I got the same one, the Lacure one, that kind of has a flex to it that doesn't crack. So I got one of those. So I'm gonna shake it nicely. You want to shake it really good, and then the spray. I give it a nice spray. Or well, first coat you want. You don't want to take it too far. Just give it a nice light spray. Wait for about 15-20 minutes and then give it another spray and then you can wait a couple hours so you can send it down give it a really you know a 1500 or a thousand send paper send it down nicely and then give it another coat after that and it should be good So I laid a nice thin layer of clear coat on so now we're gonna let it dry for about 20 minutes and then put another layer and I'm gonna let it dry for about a few hours so I can sand it down nicely because it gets it gets dry enough uh, or hard enough so I can sand it down because the last thing you want to do is when it's still not dry when it's still soft and you start sanding it and then you start spreading it spreading it around you're gonna make it look real ugly so We'll see, I'll probably lay another layer on and then I'll sand it down most likely if it won't look smooth. But if it will look you know, smooth enough, I probably won't even sand it. I'll just put another layer or another two layers and it should be good. Man, it's a short day today. It's almost dark already. And let me see what time is it. Yeah, it's only four o'clock at night. Well, 4 p.m. I just put a last coat of clear coat. I believe I put three coats. This is the third one. Looking beautiful. I don't think I'm gonna sand it down. This. If it dries out perfectly like this, 
that's perfect that's good enough for me it's literally looking perfect no drips nothing on it looking glossy beautiful so I'm gonna let it dry for about an hour or two and then I'm gonna install them on the car all right so you guys this is how it looks the final product I mean it's not gonna be 100% perfect I mean you can see my fingerprints on them when you touch them they're dry now I'm gonna install them it looks literally I mean for a house paint job with a spray can I don't think you get, get any better than this look at it it's literally perfect all right so now we're gonna install them on the car and I'll show you guys how to bolt it up and uh, yeah that we're gonna call it good so we're gonna take those two two screws out that one and then that one also by the wheel that they will bolt to them right here on the winglets there and then the tape will go right here as you guys can see there's tape right there so that's gonna go on top of the bumper right here on the top right here along here and here so we're gonna wipe it down probably break clean so degreaser or some sort so to degrease it so the double-sided tape will stick all right so as you guys saw I needed to put a washer I had to kind of dig into that earpiece to hold it down and this one I just had to make the hole a little bigger to adjust it but this one pretty much fit perfect this one I had to put a washer but it's still good and then as you guys can see it looks good so that's how it looks I'm gonna show you guys in the daylight in some other video I wanted to wait until tomorrow to install them but I kind of had them dry and I got this guy back here be like no no install it today so <laughs> So I had to install it today, but yeah, they look good. Uh, I managed to install them properly. I mean, yeah. The black does kinda make it look a little odd. I think I'm gonna have to paint this now black. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, but I think I need to paint that to color match that, and then probably paint this black as he did to the S60R that I, that I sold to him, my neighbor. So I think that will match, and then this grill as well that will match the front end a little better because right now this is black this is kind of silverish grayish color and that's silver so it doesn't really go right now to be honest I mean it looks okay it looks good in black but I think I need to match color match those so it'll look a lot better maybe this emblem as well paint the black and that will match it so but yeah right now I mean it looks good it doesn't look bad so we'll see well, for those people that would decide to get those, remember, those ramps will not work anymore. Look what we had to do with, so we don't break them off, those winglets. Oh my goodness, so these are useless now. I just bought them too. Darn it. Oh well, car guy problems. <laughs> so there you go, there's another look at it. How it looks on this side. Let's go to this side so I can show you guys looks really good actually so in today's video as you guys saw we test fitted on the pre facelift the 2010 to 2013 Volvo S60 even though there are designs the bar bumpers are different I don't think it's worth the while buying it and try to modify it you're probably not gonna modify it enough to a point where it's gonna fit perfectly and it's gonna stay there so I don't think it's worth it I would recommend maybe trying to see if somebody makes a new, another one a proper one for the pre facelift uh, body style front bumpers and then uh, we painted the winglets they look great actually came out a lot better than I actually thought it was gonna come out with a spray can because literally I only used spray can with the paint I sanded it down spray painted it and then also I uh, uh, used some clear coat like four layers of clear coat as well so it came out really good uh, maybe in the next video when it's in the light I'll make some nice you know better uh, video of how it looks you can also keep up on my Instagram a 60 poster fan I'll show you guys how it looks I post photos there recently you know uh, more often so you guys can see how it looks if you're interested so yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the video and as usual see you next time